Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a late night WWE Payback Review. Had a very hard time watching this show. Um, for some reason, the WWE Network did not work tonight. It was not working here in Canada um, on television. That's the version that I got. Didn't fucking work at all, which fucking sucked dick. Um, I tried to stream it. My computer kept crashing. It was falling apart there. It was, you know, all fucked up. So I had to watch it on YouTube in parts like a fucking loser, people. Um, so yeah, it's very late because I'm there waiting <laughs> to watch the match like a fucking schmuck. But uh, yeah. Um, Despite all the fucking drama, I'm here with my late night motherfucking piece of crap review. I'm all fucking tired and depressed. <laughs> Video won't be that great, people. First match, Sheamus defeated Dolph Ziggler. It was an okay match, I guess. A good enough match. Um, Ziggler was full of blood. I didn't enjoy Ziggler rubbing his ass on Seamus' face there. Uh, <laughs> a bit unnecessary, this whole rubbing the, the ass on each other's face, I guess. Uh, that was a bit homoerotic there, but the match was okay. There was some blood, unless Ziggler spilled some makeup all over his face or his lipstick that he likes to wear, I don't know, but match was okay. Second match, the New Day defeated Cesaro and Tyson Kidd with some twin magic. They're both black, they both look alike. This isn't racist. <laughs> and, you know, they got the tainted victory, I guess, with some racist uh, twin magic. Um, third match, Bray Wyatt defeated Ryback. I don't know why the fuck this match even took place, but the match turned out to be good enough. Um, Bray Wyatt was impressive a little bit or whatever. Fourth match, John Cena defeated Rusev. Um, it finished a bit in a crappy fashion. Um, Cena had him in the STF with the rope on his nose. And uh, Lando gave up on Rusev's behalf there. And Rusev was pissed off about it. That usual garbage. But... The match itself was pretty brutal. There was a couple of big, you know, dangerous moves through tables and barricades, shit like this. So, you know, a crappy, weird finish, but the match was pretty badass, or not badass, but badass enough, or hardcore enough. I don't know. There. <laughs> Cena's badass, man. Joss is bad, eh? Fifth match, Naomi and Tamina defeated the Bellas. And nobody gave a fuck. Nobody gave a flying fuck about this shit. Um, pointless crap or match there. Sixth match, Neville defeated Wade Barrett by count out. The match was okay up until the count out. Then Barrett attacked him after the match. Um, not much happening there. And then the main event, Seth Rollins defeated Reigns, Orton, and Dean Ambrose. Um, he finished with the pedigree. Um, highlights of the match was the Shield reuniting hitting a triple power bomb on Orton. Um, he 
you had a bunch of cane interference, shit like this, and it ended with Seth Rollins hitting Orton with the pedigree. Um, the Shield reunion was only a few minutes there, but that's going to be what all the nerds are going to be marking out for there. But the match was decent. It was good enough, the main event there. I guess... Um, since they banned Rollins finisher, he's going to use the pedigree. I don't know how I feel about that there, but uh, the pay-per-view overall was decent. It was a good enough show. Too bad everything was all fucked up for me to watch it there, but yeah. Until next time, peace!